Amelia Barilli will be teaching Borges, Buddhism, and Cognitive Science. Um, again, putting the body, the brain in the body. Um, Amelia, thank you for returning. Thank you, Susan. Um, it's very good to be here and see some familiar faces and some new ones. Uh, this semester we are going to teach another uh, course on Borges and Buddhism uh, from a new angle. In fact, what we are going to be teaching is a shorter version of a course that I teach at UC Berkeley. And um, the course uh, turns around two main questions. Who we are and how do we learn or uh, how do we create meaning for ourselves. It's really a pleasure to be discussing with you uh, Borges. Uh, we had a great time the other times that we did it. He's a um, writer that keeps attracting many different audiences. I don't know if you saw it, but on August 24th, uh, recently, when what would have been his 112th birthday, uh, Google created a Google Doodle to honor Borges. Maybe you saw this old man with a cane looking at a futuristic world. And um, more recently here also in Berkeley, we have a new course on new media, uh, which is concurrently taught with other 12 universities. And the course starts by reading a Borges story, The Garden of the Forking Paths. So I'm sharing this with you just to um, share examples of how he's very much still in the mind of our century. He was born in 1899, and he used to joke that he was a 19th century writer. But the deep way that he asks about how do we create meaning and how we bring forth the worlds that we inhabit make him not only a 20th century writer, but a 21st century writer. And here in Oli at Borges Buddhism and Cognitive Science, we are also going to be looking at Borges relating it to cutting edge research, and it will be the research of cognitive science about how the mind works. A classic from Taoism says, if you want to know the world out there, you first need to know the tool with which you are looking at the world. Uh, so know your mind first. And we'll be doing a little bit of that in the course. Uh, we are going to be reading some uh, short stories for Bo by Borges, some that we have already read, but you know you can always read Borges and find new things. He's that kind of writer. And some new short stories. We are going to also be reading some uh, new materials on cognitive science and the principles of cognitive science, like neuroplasticity, which is, um, again, this um, that science has been discovering in the last years, that the way we look at the world, in fact, not only shapes that world from our perspectives, but it also shapes our brain. So for that, it's so important for all of us to ask how I am creating the reality that I inhabit and how, what, what kind of materials am I putting to my brain. So we'll be re reading some from cognitive science. We will be reading uh, from Buddhism, which thousands of years ago discovered the same thing, that the world that we inhabit is uh, a result of our interpretations, uh, reactions, and actions. And then uh, how those principles that fascinated Borges so much from Buddhism are present in some of his stories. So we'll be approaching from art, um, science, and philosophy the question of who we are, how do we learn, how do we create meaning. It has always been wonderful to be with you in class and hear all the different voices. So I hope you will join us this time too. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat>